So normally I would take the wheel off and then pop these caps out from the back. But I wanted to offer something for some of you guys who don't feel like taking your wheels off to uh, do this job. So I went online looking for different ways to do it. And my favorite one was to take a drill and a screw and screw it into the center cap and then use a pair of pliers to yank it out. Um, that is not gonna happen. I purchased uh, Scotch Extreme mounting tape and I'm going to clean this center cap with alcohol and then dry it off. We're gonna leave the backing on it and we are going to, we're gonna leave the backing on it. We're gonna fold, fold it into a little handle. We're gonna put it on each side of the Dodge logo like that. And we're gonna push down really hard. I don't even know if this is gonna work, but honestly, I'm hoping this works out well. Got a little bit of time to bond. And the reason we're leaving the backing on is because this tape is stretchy. So, you know, I want to leave the backing on to get a little extra, um, a little extra strength out of it. All right. What do you guys think? You think it's going to work? Give it a good yank. That did not work as planned. I guess we're taking a wheel off. All right, so today's gonna be a quick video about uh, jacking up the rear of the car, which I haven't covered in any of my previous videos. Uh, jacking the front of the car is covered in my oil change video, which I'll drop in the upper right corner. Uh, we're gonna talk about uh, swapping out the center caps and uh, these little bad boys that uh, I get a lot of questions on. Um, let's start, I guess we'll talk about these first. These are vinyl caps, and uh, when searching for uh, black anodized lug nuts uh, a couple of years ago when I first got the car, um, I had trouble finding them or finding them with the nice mushroom head that matched the uh, OEM ones. Uh, so for a show, uh, I wanted to get some, some kind of covers for them. So I found a site online that sold these, and um, you know they were in colors and they were pretty cool, but I wanted black, and they looked very familiar. Uh, something I used in a previous job, they, uh, it's like a tube cover, you have a plastic tube and you put these things on the end of it to seal them up. And uh, I went on to McMaster car and sure enough I found these. These fit the 22 millimeter lug nuts and uh, they fit on really snug. I've had the same set, exact same set on my car for uh, since November of 2015 and uh, they're still going strong, they still look good. They, I, I always wash my car with uh, suds so I don't actually use any type of chemicals on my wheels. I did try chemicals once and they didn't have any effect on the vinyl caps. So I would say maybe they're safe to use, but on a day-to-day -day basis, I actually haven't tested that. So, but these are pretty cool. They fit on really snug. They do add an additional uh, couple steps to pulling these off. Uh, I take my wheels off about uh, twice a month during the season to clean them. And um, you know, you have to use an interior tool, which I'll show right now to just kind of wiggle these off a little bit before you get them out. So what I would recommend is carrying that same interior tool in your trunk. This way, if you ever need to do a roadside fix, you have something to pop these off. They do sell special tools. If I do find one uh, that does not scratch the rim, because the one that they do sell uh, looks like it's gonna scratch my rims, um, I will eventually follow up on this video. But anyway, these are the vinyl caps. You get 100 of these for $8, which means that uh, you have a couple sets to share with your friends as well. And uh, that's pretty cool. Quick, cheap, easy mod to uh, pop on your black rims. Now let's talk about these guys. Uh, this is my uh, cheap uh, China Dodge. These were going for 30 bucks a piece at the time that I wanted them. And I wound up finding these in China for $8. So I wound up buying uh, a set of four for eight bucks. It took a couple weeks to get here, but they never match. They always looked a little bit uh, too shiny. So. Uh, when these came out on the 2016, or no, sorry, the 2017s, I uh, basically started drooling over them. So I bought a set, and would you believe it? I bought the wrong set. These are the Hyper Black 2s. They got a little bit of a sparkle to them. They're a little more gray than the, uh, you know, my original uh, 2015 uh, black lightweight wheels. So I bought another set, and sure enough, these are perfect. These are nice satin black. They are not an exact color match. I'll show you a picture of what I'm talking about, but they look really good, so I'm not too worried about it. And either one of these, you've got the Hyper Black 2, you've got the uh, Matte Black, 
or there's the, uh, it's almost like a chrome or a, or a nickel kind of finish. I don't have the part number for those, but for these two, I'll drop that in the description. But uh, for those of you who are into customizing your stuff, uh, both of these, you can pop off the uh, cover plate and you can paint or wrap the, uh, you know, the rhombus in the center. I have a video on that, which I'll drop in the upper right. Uh, you can go out and grab, um, you know, samples of vinyl for a dollar and you can pretty much wrap, uh, you know, two center caps for a buck. Um, and I get these from Metro Restyling. They sell vinyl samples for between one and two dollars a piece. So I usually order a ton of them when I'm messing around with different things. Uh, that being said, uh, we're going to go outside. We're going to, I'm going to do a quick show for some of the people who have jack problems. Um, you know, you don't have a low profile jack. Uh, I've had jacks for many years, so I'm not going to go out and buy a racing jack just for this car. So this is how I get around the uh, low profile jack problem. Um, and then the next thing we're going to talk about is how to jack up the rear of the car. Uh, then we're going to pop off the wheels, swap out the center caps the right way. As you saw from the beginning of the video, uh, the alternate method uh, didn't work for me and I'm not about to throw a screw through my uh, center caps. So let's get started. With As with everything with a the mod, they're a little bit annoying to get off. I mean, not that bad. An extra minute to take off your wheels isn't bad. Um, we're not having we to worry about... Lot, we have a lot of wheels to take off. Yeah, we have a lot of wheels to take off. First thing you want to do is check your wheels. You have one in the back, one in the front. Unfortunately, I don't have two rubber, so then we're going to come around here. I use the rubber puck right here for the jack, just because it fits just right. ground. Okay, next let's use the jack stand. How come we have okay, we're gonna bring this stand. around. Okay, put it down in. So we got the cutout right here. I'm gonna put in our jack pad. I'm gonna slide that jack pad over a little bit off center. And we're going to have to go up quite a bit. And then we're going to rest it on both the jack pad, the jack stand, and the jack. There we go. And that's it. Now the reason I do it in reverse is if you try and put the jack stand on this pad for some reason the jack gets in the way but in this configuration the jack stand and the wheels of the jack don't cross each other in the other configuration they kind of hit into each other all right knocking the camera over but one of the reasons why I didn't want to pop this center cap out from the front is because it's got a spring retainer in it so we need to get that out first and then we can push this out now this is one of my cheap eBay center caps not eBay sorry this is a uh, cheap China center cap um, over a year old, no issues whatsoever, but it never matched. Exactly. Now these rims are dirty, but uh, I'll show you afterwards. Never matched. It was always super shiny while the rims had a nice satin finish. So we're going to uh, wash these puppies up, wax them up, and then put the new ones on.
We are good. Very happy with that. What do you think? Cool. Cool as baloney, man. Cool as baloney? If you have any questions on the tools I use to make this video, I will have my Amazon associate links in the description. Using these links will of course help my channel out in a small way. The jacks and jack stands I've had for years. Um, if you get a pair, just remember the Challenger weighs close to 4,500 pounds, so make sure your jack and stands are adequate. If you have a torque wrench, be sure to torque your wheels down. The lightweight aluminum wheels with the stock lugs should be torqued at 130 foot-pounds as per the 2015 Challenger manual. Be sure to check the manual for your specific model year for the torque specifications. I've been asked a few times to do a video on getting all four wheels off the ground, but personally I find doing this a bit sketchy because the car starts to teeter on the jack stands when you're lifting up that third wheel, so I don't really encourage this practice. If this video helped you out in any way, feel free to gently press that like button. If you're stopping by for the first time, please subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.